Ahoy hoy, Dr. Rick here with a tip for staying at a fancy hotel at a resort when you're there for a CME conference. So I'm here in uh, Whistler in British Columbia and it's a very fancy Hilton and um, I'm just here by myself. This is not really a big social event for me. I'm here for the education. And so to keep it cheap, I've got a couple of tips for you. Number one, if you fancy yourself a martini and you don't want to pay 20 something dollars at the Hilton bar in the restaurant, what you can do is go to the local bottle shop. We're in Canada. That's what they call it. Get yourself a little bit of this absolute from Sweden. And that is tasty all by itself. But it is enhanced by going to the local market and getting a lemon. They have lemons in Canada. And then while you're in that market, you go to the deli section and get yourself a somewhat disposable knife, which is not great, but it works enough. This one is made out of wood. So completely renewable resource. And you shave down your lemon like you do, and you get a little bit of rind out so that you can put a twist in your martini. Now, you already saw that this is a nice rocks glass that comes with the room. Not that you can take it home, don't go there. Nobody says that anymore. And then you take the coffee cup that comes with the in-room coffee maker. It's one of those Keurig style things, but it's not Keurig, and I don't think that's a copyright violation. And then you put this over this. Et puis, vous voilà. Shaker for martini. Okay. Then it's an easy strain and you will be able to get your martini in your cup. Glass here, on display. Top this off so that it only takes out the booze part and leaves the ice mostly behind. Added extra lemon rind. Bonus. These little baggies come on the coffee cup that we were just using. Coffee cup. These are watertight. So if you, while you're at the market getting the lemon, get your veggie brats or Italian sausages. Veggie. Then you can take this thing and put it in here after carefully opening it and then seal it up and then use the in-house coffee maker, tea maker, hot kettle, whatever you may happen to have. Heat up some water. Put the veggie dog, like these wonderful things, no sponsorship, although I'm willing, in the cup. Then you have the veggie dog in the plastic wrap in the very, very hot water, and then walk away. When you come back, you have a nice piping hot veggie sausage, veggie brat, veggie dog. It's wonderful. And it's a high protein source, especially if you've been skiing or snowboarding all day. Build back the muscle. You just broke it down. Bye.